So now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about vertebral compression fractures and how do we treat that. So most people would say, first of all, what's a vertebral compression fracture, Doc? You're talking too fancy for me. Sometimes what some of your other physicians would refer to is that you have a broke bone in your back. Some patients will say, I broke my back, which is a bit correct and a bit not necessarily correct. What we're going to look to do is to clarify some of that, explain it a little bit better, and deal with some of the misconceptions and how we can be able to potentially treat it. Okay? So we take a look at our trusty spine here again, knowing that up here is the head, down here would be your bottom. You have those three different areas that we made reference to before. We have the lumbar spine, we have the thoracic spine, and we have the cervical spine. Okay? All those, again, are comprised or made up of the bone and the disc that's present in between it. And so when we talk about having a compression fracture or broken bone, what we're talking about is having that bone that's a certain height not be a certain height any longer. Instead of it being full and robust like this, it's squeezed down and it's narrowed. And what we're looking to do is to figure out whether that's causing you some degree of pain and whether it's causing you to go from a straight up right position and it's causing you to have more curvature. And that is what we try to treat when we look to be able to do a procedure that's called a kyphoplasty. Now the question would be, is why are we using that fancy term? What is kyphoplasty and where does it come from? It comes from when one is straight like this, it's a traditional stance and, and of how you would stand. But as your back starts to curve, it's a medical term that's called kyphotic aspect. And so what we're interested in is how to be able to prevent this kyphotic component and how to be able to make it, if at all possible, go back to this region. So most patients would say, well, why is that important? How can that be impactful to me? Besides you just having a, an altered position, an impaired aspect of being able to walk and have an altered gait, why would having a straighter back potentially be useful to you? The reason why it could be useful to you is particularly in relationship to how your breathing pattern is. If you have a severe kyphotic angle, it can cause you to have compressive elements in the aspects and the regions of your lungs. And so we want to make sure that you don't have that degree of bend, if at all possible. The next question I would get is, so if you're treating me with a kyphoplasty, will that always fix me and make me straight? No, it won't always fix you and make you straight. But it is a possibility that we can get that to straighten out a little bit. So the next question I would get is, so, well, let's say I've had this problem for years. Can you still be able to fix me? And unfortunately, the answer to that would be more than likely not. The, if we're looking to be able to treat your pain, it needs to be within a certain time frame for us to be able to go in and do something to that bone so that we can actually get it back to the way that it was before. After a period of time, that bone heals down into the, the area and the spacing of what it's used to as opposed to how it had been previously before it had an injury and an issue. So we need to be able to address that with some degree of frequency. So before I go into the, the details of talking about how we actually do the procedure, I'll address the question of, is there anything else we could do instead of doing a procedure? Yes, there is. What we could be able to do is to treat you conservatively. And what that means is we give you a little bit of a painkiller and we give you a brace that will give you some degree of support as that bone starts to heal. That bone, however, is not going to go back to the way that it was before, but it'll heal down in kind of that squeezed aspect and that squeezed faction. But your pain, with time, sometimes will get better. Approximately, it takes anywhere from about maybe six to eight weeks before you see an improvement. Okay? So the question would be, if we're going to do that kyphoplasty, what is the likelihood that you're going to get pain relief, and what is the component and time frame that it's going to take? The likelihood that you're going to get pain relief, if we've been able to diagnose it as a compression fracture, is probably greater than 80 to 90 percent. Again, I'll say it's probably greater than 80 to 90 percent. And the time frame in terms of the amount of pain relief that you're going to get is that it typically takes anywhere from a day to maybe two days before you start to see some degree of improvement. And sometimes it's more frequent than that. What we're accommodating for is for us actually doing the procedure and getting in there and you having some discomfort from us actually doing that aspect of the injection. But as that starts to get better, you typically start to feel better pretty darn quick.